Hello guys and welcome back to my Thorncraft tutorial series. Um, hoping you guys found the last one helpful. Uh, today we're going to be covering a couple more uh, research, like researching into aspects and just learning through all the aspects and how to get you started on them. Um, I'm going to jump straight into today's episode. Uh, last episode I left you off and I was telling you about the thermometer and w scanning things and just basically learning stuff. Um, I did a bit of playing around and checking what you can scan and what to get you started off and I found these three things. Uh, plus I think I covered normal stone in the last. Uh, but yeah basically I did sand which gave me entropy and terror. Is entropy? No. Bleach. Perdicio and Terra, sorry, and then you can scan water as well, which give you Aqua, and cobbles, Cobble will also give you Perdicio and Terra. Um, that's all I could really find. I didn't do uh, loads into it, but I did also remember that you can create uh, compound aspects. Um, we'll go over these in the book with you quickly. Um, if we click on Aspects of Magic. Uh, I'll tell you there are two different types of aspects you can have. Uh, two main types of aspects, primal and compound. Primal aspects are the most basic types of aspects and there are only six of them. Uh, these are air, terror, so air which is air, terror which is earth, ignis which is fire, aqua water, that says ordo there which is order and petitio which is entropy. Uh, these are from the basic building blocks of all other aspects. Uh, these form the basic building blocks of all other aspects. Um, oh, one thing to also mention is you can scan all of your infused stones. So if you go out mining looking for these, before you mine them, make sure you scan them because they do give you quite a few research points and it will cover all of your basic aspects. Uh, you can also do an iron chest which will give you I can't remember which one that is. Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, vitreous. Um, yeah, so you can do the chest. Uh, you can't do the arcane work tables. I don't think you can do crafting stations either. Nope, you need to study plants for that one. Uh, so that was all I could find. But there is another way, other than just scanning, that you can get. Um, aspects and unlock some of the research. So if we go over to our what is it? The work table or the study desk. You know which one I'm on about, the study desk. Uh, I can't remember where I got that one from actually. Um, but yeah, if we come into uh, this interface we can actually combine aspects. We can combine the primals here to create some other stuff. So I'll go through a couple with you. There's all listed on the wiki. Uh, so you can do a couple from there. But I'll go through a couple with you here. Uh, if you just left click on them. And it will drop down into this slot here. So I put Aqua down here. I'm also going to drop Terra. And if we do that. I happen to know that forms Victus. Which is life. Um, if you remember last time we were scanning things. It was like oh you need to investigate life. To be able to look into this more. See, this one still need to study plants. I can't remember what it said we needed to study life for now. Need to study empty things. There you go. Leaves. Leaves is the one we needed to understand life for. So we've just gone and researched. Whoops. We've just gone and created a compound aspect out of two primals, and that has allowed us to now go and scan leaves. Need to scan empty things, need to study empty things. So yeah, there are quite a few of these, they're all listed on the wiki. So this this will actually help you get started quite a lot. So you want to go scan your basic things just to get um, your primal aspect numbers up. Because you need the numbers, it will use them. Um, let's see if we can do another one. I think we do water and order. No, that's not going to make one. If you push it and nothing comes up, then nothing comes up. I think we can do air. Yeah, and that has given us uh, tempas, tempestus, which is sort of weather. 
Um, let's see if we can do you guys another one. And just click on the aspects down here to clear them. I have no air and fire. We'll make Lux, which is light. Um, see if there's any other ones that I know of. Um, and I'll just have a quick look because I do have the wiki open. Um, there we go. Fire and Petitio will make us Gellum, which is ice, frost, and cold. I don't understand how fire <laughs> and entropy makes ice, but okay. Uh, we'll go with that. Uh, what else have we got? We can make Motus, which is air. Whoops, just clear these, which is air and auto. And I think we have Saxon. D no, we don't have Saxon. So if we clear these two again, we clip that and we clip that. Okay, apparently Saxon doesn't exist. Sorry, I just looked that up. Uh, Saxon does not exist. Uh, we've also got Vakos, which is that and that. Which will give us Void, which is the empty things that we've been asked to look for. And that's basically all of the sort of tier ones that you can create with all the primals. And then your best bet is to go off and start scanning things again. See, now it's telling us we need to study energy. Oh no, wait, sorry, we got potential we got potential to do as well, which is just fire and order. There you go, and now we got potential as well, and we got permutatio. I'm not sure what we got that one from. I will if you have a look in the book it'll tell you. Petitio and Auto will give you uh permutatio. Uh, but yeah, just use that to get you started, and now you see we've gone scan moss stone uh, because we've just made a load of compound aspects out of primals. Uh, it's sort of advanced us, and now we can go around and scan most things. See there, we've just there we discovered precantatio, which is magic, um, and this one we've discovered arbors, so, and it also has precantatio in. But we've discovered that it just gives us research points. Uh, let's see if we can scan the cobweb. No nope, need to study tools for that one. Uh, we did our moss stone, and because we unlocked Herba now, we can discover plants. So there's Herba, Precantatio, and uh, venin Venenum in that one. Uh, we should be able to do the mushroom now, yep. And we've just discovered Tenebrae for that one. And that's the same part of the mushroom, see so if we can do grass now. Yes we can, which is Air and Herba. So yeah, once you create your first tier, tier one list of um, aspects and go through and compound, make compound aspects in the table, it becomes a lot easier just running around scanning things. Like that we can now scan, which gives us Herba and Terra research points. And yeah. There we go, we just discovered a uh, Vincilium. Vincilium. I uh, don't think we can do that. Yeah, we can. We got Arbor from that one. So, yeah, once you do that, you can just sort of run around and start scanning a hell of a lot more stuff. Ah, that's the one I got the poison from in the first one. And the Permutatio, we got it from the Cinnabar Ore, which you can scan from the get go, I believe. Uh, we can scan our dandelion now, I believe. No, apparently I need to study spirits. Um, but yeah, you basically now you just want to run around and sort of start gathering yourself a couple of aspects. Uh, we've done oak leaves. Have we done this mushroom? Does that count? Yeah, that counts as the same mushroom. Uh, like I said, some stuff you can't scan. That one you can. Uh, we can study the fern. Yeah, we can do that one. So yeah, now it's sort of a game of just running around with this in your hand. Mystical pink flowers you can't do because I don't think Thorncraft's compatible with it. You can do jungle leaves. So it's like you can do all the different types of trees and it'll just give you research points for every single one that you do. I didn't do the wood on that one. I should have, but oh well. Um, so we've done water. I think we can do lily pads. Let's jump on top of it. There we go. It's lily pads done. And then we go over here again. 
grab some more bits and pieces and think we can do cactus. I'm not sure if we can do, I'm sure you can probably do cinder pearls. I think they are thorncraft. Yep, yeah, there you go. You got some Herba, Ignis and Precantatio in that one. And we got cactus there and yeah, so basically now it's just going to be a game of sort of running around. Uh, seeing what you can scan, what you can't scan, uh, what you still need to be researching and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to run around, I'm going to do a little bit more research and I'll get back to you guys in a bit and I'll tell you where we're going to go from here. Right guys, I'm back, I've run around, I've done a little bit of research. I don't think I discovered anything relatively new apart from, uh, where is it? Apart from Bestia, which I got from scanning a, a sheep, uh, you'll get most of this from scanning most passive mobs. Um, other than that, I didn't really find anything new. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our research te research desk, and we're going to try and create some more compound aspects. But this time we're going to be using other compound aspects. Um, so we're going to start off with Victus and Void. We're, this is going to be going into the tier 2 stuff, so it's going to be using some of the tier 1 sort of aspects that we've just taken and learnt. And we're going to be moving into sort of trying to create some other stuff because there's still things that we can't scan because it's saying that we need to look into other stuff. So what we're going to start off with is uh, Victus and Vakos which is life and void and this is going to give us fames which is hunger um, not sure what you can use that for I think it's like food and zombie flesh and stuff like that and just edible stuff really uh, so that's going to allow us to research that and then if we do life again and we'll grab some auto as well that's going to unlock granum for us or it should do no, that's unlocked Sano for us, which is healing and curing. And um, what else can we do? We can also do... Like I said, I'm going to be going through this with you guys. Um, I'm referring to the wiki for some of this, and a lot of it is quite out of date. Um, so I'm going to try and update it as I go. I'm not sure if I'm going to update the wiki itself or try and edit it and try and sort of update it and keep it up to date to try and help you guys out a bit but we will see as time goes on uh, so the next one we're going to do is Terra which is Earth and Motus and that is going to give us Ita which is travel and journey which makes sense because movement and Earth sort of links to travel it's sort of quite common sense if you think about it uh, there used to be a game sort of like this on the f uh, iPhone it's called um, Doodle God or something like that and it's basically you have to use two different elements to create another element and it was quite a fun game, it was very logical, you had to think about everything that you were doing um, but once you sort of thought through it, it was quite, once you got the hang of it, it was quite easy and this is very much the same, once you get into it you'll be like, oh that makes sense, blah blah blah, so next one we're going to do is Life and Water and that is going to give us slime and sticky which makes sense again because life and water links to sort of slimes because you find slimes and swamps a lot and they're slimy because they're hanging around water so that makes sense that we get slime out of it <laughs> um, what else can we do let's see if we can cover uh, so as you see here we're out of Vic this which is life we've got no more research points for that so we can't use that down here uh, the only simple way around this is we can go out scanning more things with life in it but for the sake of saving time we're just going to make some more which was these two again if you're unsure what makes what again you can just always jump into your aspect list in your thonomicon and this updates automatically for you uh, every time you research something new so you see we've got Ita and Limus in there which we have just researched um, so yeah it does aut automatically update every time you find something new so we're going to here and we need some more Victus 
So if you're ever unsure, it's just aqua and terra. So we're going to make a couple of a couple bits of that. So we'll put that up to about six. Six is a good number. So the next one I'm going to go over with you is more to us. Yeah, it's more to us. And then that's just going to be life and entropy, which sort of makes sense. This is like life, but chaos and destruction. And that's going to give us mortis, which is death. Um, like I said, just once you get the hang of it, it will make a lot more sense. If you know what aspects you're looking for, um, it will make sense how to get to them in the future. Um, not sure how many more we can do. Uh, we can do volatus, which is going to be air and motus which is going to give us volatus which is flight which again makes sense if you think about it, it makes sense Fl movement and air is going to give you flight um, so yeah just think think through it <laughs> and it would just be a lot easier um, this should give us tempest no it's not giving us tempest as I said, the wiki is very out of date and it definitely needs updating. But like I said, I'm going to go through it with you guys. And I'm going to try and get us all up to speed. And I'm going to learn as well as you guys. And we're going to learn a lot of things together. Uh, so what was it I couldn't scan? It was telling me to go and... Dandelion, that was it. Uh, no, I need to look into spirits for that. Nope, still need to study spirits. Luckily, I know the spirit one, which is life and death which will give you spiritus which is soul obviously life and death combined so obviously a link to ghost and now we can scan that one and we've just discovered census which is a, this one here i believe that's sort of like knowledge i think i'm not 100 percent sure um i can't remember what that one is <laughs> And uh, we can also go and run over here and we'll do poppies at the same time. Which is going to give us that lot. Oh, we can do silver while we're here as well. And if we jump up, we can do the logs. Uh, we can do the leaves, sorry. So we've just done the logs. There you go. And that'll just give us a little bit of herb. It just adds towards our sort of points. Um, if you ever run low on points, I will probably show you in the next episode how we're going to go about that. It's going to require some research and looking into. Um, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I've just covered a couple of the basic, um, couple of the basic aspects to get us started, and now you guys can be running around scanning stuff. Uh, so that should help you guys out a bit. Um, next video I'll go over a couple more I'll probably cover tier 3 and tier 4 uh, the best way to work with this is to try and get all your aspects out of the way and unlock everything and then you can run around and you can scan practically everything that's able to scan in the game um, let's see if we can scan this just for the hell of it there we go even more research points wonderful um, but yeah the best way to go is just to keep going as you can see we've unlocked a fair few today and we're just going to keep going and try and research as many as we can before we start going into the actual research um, because we are going to need to unlock a couple of things but anyway guys that has been today's episode I hope you have enjoyed it, I hope it's been helpful um, any suggestions um, anything that you want to see covered and you need details on I might know it so just let me know and I'll try and cover that in a video as soon as possible for you. Like I said, I'm not going to jump to sort of like ick or stuff which is way, way, way down the line in the research. I'm not going to go from basic aspects to that sort of stuff straight away, but I will cover it as soon as possible if you guys are interested in that. But as always, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Uh, let me know if you like this series, if you want more of it. I'll try and post more of it and sort of focus a little bit more on it um, but I'm still going to keep going on it as I am but if you guys want more of it let me know and I will do more of it for you but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next tutorial series or the monster server if you watch that which you should because it's awesome and we do fun things on there I really need to stop clicking my hand <laughs>
Right, anyway guys, thanks for watching. I will see you later.